HDSLR Shooter, your source for news from NAB 2014. Brought to you by Adobe, Animas, Black Magic Design, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clint with HDSLR Shooter. I'm here with Kanan Flowers and Sean Mullen of That Studio and Rampant Design. And you guys have like effects for, uh, for the different NLEs. Talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so Sean and I have uh, recently partnered. We formed a strategic alliance where our companies are sharing uh, products and uh, a lot of workflow and a lot of other stuff together. And so uh, Sean is, you know, extremely well known in the industry for practical visual effects. He's like, I don't know, he's like my favorite person at creating practical visual effects. I know, it's true though. Uh, and, you know, we do a lot of creative content, as you know, Hero Punk and different things like that. And so for the last year, we've been using all these amazing practical visual effects for fire and smoke and simple things like dust and dirt and light leaks and all of that. And uh, so Sean and I decided to partner up and uh, take the product line and instead of trying to serve two masters, split the products into Indie Essentials, uh, which that studio is, is, you know, marketing and selling, which is an independent filmmaker collection, 2K, you know, 24P, downloadable, all-you-can-eat buffet for a price that's indie filmmaker friendly. And Sean is focusing on the Studio Essentials, which are, you know, larger 4K, 5K, quick, uh, ProRes quick times focused on the studio, you know, for, the, for that market. So... Our stuff is downloadable. His stuff is downloadable as well, but he also has a hard drive option for the studios, which, you know, they like that stuff. So is the, the studio option like a premium price, or is it per, like, effect, or how does that work? Uh, you can get things in individual volumes, or you can get things, uh, you can buy out the entire library. Uh, the first thing you need to know about Indie Essentials is it's, it's $399, and it's, uh, it's a collection of QuickTime-based practical visual effects. So Sean went out and shot, you know, amazing things like explosions and muzzle flashes on guns and snow and dust particles and all this real stuff in a high quality, you know, red camera. You know, and it, it, was, it was shot at full resolution, sometimes 120 frames per second, and then down res to 2K for the independent essentials stuff, right? Um, so what you get when you purchase into, in the essentials is you get the entire library that exists today as an all-you-can-eat buffet as an artist, download whatever you want, whenever you want it, Take it from client to client, use snow in one client and fire in another and light leaks in another and all that stuff. Uh, same with the studio stuff. If you get it, it, it follows the artist. Uh, the other thing is every time with Indie Essentials, every time we release an update, and you know, Sean and I have a plan, a two-year plan for a lot of stuff, you automatically get that update for free, right? Yeah, so it's really targeted toward the independent filmmaker. So if you take a look here right now, you can see this is, what ex this is the stuff that exists inside Indie Essentials right now. So you can see it goes 2K dust, 2K ember, 2K fire, flashlights, light leaks, sparks, grunge mats, overlays, we have flares, everything that you can think of as an independent filmmaker, a wedding videographer, you know, any, any field where you're trying to add transitions or you're trying to add just a little bit of that, that beauty, you know, to what you're doing, right? So I can show you here uh, inside of Final Cut Pro, you can see here we've actually pulled it in as a library. Do you use Final Cut Pro? Mm, I use the Premiere. Okay. So I'm going to show you Final Cut Pro for a second and then Premiere. But you can imagine, like, okay, I need dust, right? So you just open up dust. You know, you scrub through. You can see here dust particles. And, you know, they're real subtle in dust. But let's say you have something like you want to see some smoke. Well, check out these smoke effects. These are, yeah, these are real. These are so much more interesting than a lot of things you see because there's, this is real smoke that existed in reality. So it doesn't, it doesn't go into that uncanny valley and not look real. And the beautiful thing about the stuff we're doing is, like, if you want to do fire, imagine you take real fire and you take something like trap code and then you use a, you know, particle simulation of real fire and now all of a sudden that plug-in based fire looks a hundred times better because it's based on a real actual fire that existed rather than a fire that you tried to manufacture by sliding a bunch of sliders around. And so that's one of the great things about this. The other great thing is, like I said, you just, anything that you want, I, I, let me show you Haunted real quick. Haunted is, Haunted is, you know, I mean, I'm, you know this about me. I'm a big fan of horror films. So Haunted is just, you know, these lights, you know, that look like a horror movie, right? right, right. And so let me, let me show you something, though. This is what you get in just the Haunted library inside of Indie Essentials. 665 light leaks for Haunted. That's one of 70 different sets that we have, and we're adding at least 30 more this year. And then for three ninety nine, you get all of them. Because I mean, you know, you know me. I'm a friend of the community, friend of the independent filmmaker, and uh, you know, I want them to be able to use this stuff in all the, in, in, in all their work in the future. So, so uh, and all of this stuff is downloadable. Is that right? Yeah. So all the stuff in Indie Essentials is downloadable as high quality uh, QuickTimes, and we, you know, we compress them in a in a way where they're 
you know, variable bit rate, 40 megabit a second, extremely high quality. All the stuff in Studio Essentials, you have two options. You can download it or you can purchase it on a hard drive. And the downloadable version is, is the same. It's a quick same time. variable bit rate, yeah. Yep. And the, the hard drive version is, is, you know, hardcore ProRes, you know, like, um, I, think, files, I yeah. think it's like a, what, an 8 terabyte drive for the, uh, for, for the full version? For the 5K, it's 8 terabytes, yeah. yeah. It's 8 terabytes of stuff on a drive for the Studio Essentials. In the Essentials, 100 gigabytes. Wow, wow. And so is this available now? It's available right now. Yep. And so what do people do if they want to find out more? Um, so right now you could go to uh, Rampant Design Tools and you'll see two buttons. You'll see one that says Studio Essentials and one that says Indie Essentials. You just pick the flavor that you want that day and, and you'll be taken to the right place to purchase it. And it's, uh, right now we have a special uh, NAB show special. It's $349 and it includes, once again, every update for the entire life of the product. Always available in the cloud for you. You can download Snow at one client, Fire at another, Light Leaks at another. It's, I mean, it's indie filmmaker friendly. What can I say? Wow. And so it's, uh, yeah, no, it totally is. So it's rampantdesigntools.com. That's right. Or if you just want to go to indieessentials.com, there are links to everything from there as well. Excellent. Thanks so much. My pleasure, man. HDSLR Shooter, your source for news from NAB 2014. Brought to you by Adobe, Animas, Black Magic Design, and Carl Zeiss.